Welcome to Inch Your Day, Day 18. I didn't post this yesterday because we got in really late and I actually was not feeling well at all. So I'm going to do two today, as is Richard. And I'm coming at you from a different angle. Oh my God. Like, how many people does it take to figure out all you do is flip the phone from one side to the other? Now you can see me. My goodness. So anyway, um, yesterday we went out shopping at West Edmonton Mall. And I was going to wear my pretty, pretty purple fluffy, fluffy sweater. It was so cozy and it is cozy. So I thought, why not do my eyes in this really pretty purpley color? And I did, and they turned out so pretty. So I was just thinking kind of in my sleep, actually. What was I going to do my square about? And this eye kept coming into my uh, mind. So I thought, well, why not do my eye? So I'll kind of paint the eye kind of how I did it for going out. I'm just going to give it a nice... Um, orange background and this one is a neo color so it doesn't have a cool name so there we go now give me please be patient with me while i turn this around and i'm getting my nails done this week so disregard the horrible manicure i have right now there that's pretty see now you guys can see me what the even heck oh i love this There we go. So we'll let that dry. Okay, now I'm going to draw an eye or the shape of an eye. So I'll just start here and just go there. And I'm just going to turn it around just to make it easier for me. And bring it around like there. Okay, so there we go. That's just my initial shape of the eye. Then I'm just going to take this line and bring it a little bit closer like that and then I'm gonna put my eyeball in and then I will put a little <clears throat> excuse me lights you know the little there that'll be where my light shines so before I put eyelashes or anything on this I am going to should I color it up? You know what? I'm going to outline it in black first so I don't lose my pencil lines. Okay, so I wore this kind of a pale purpley eyeshadow to match my sweater. But it went a little bit too dark. But it looked nice. It's just that I kind of looked like I was going out as opposed to shopping. You know what I mean? Going out for the evening. So I'm using in grab. I have to look up this artist's name as well as how to pronounce it. I'm pronouncing it a French way, ingre, but maybe it's ingress. Don't know. Okay, so here's like a a lighter purpley eye. I think when you're painting eye makeup, you're just pretty much doing what you would do if you um, were putting makeup on. Okay, and I know that it went over that line, but I, I don't care about that. I wanted it kind of to. And then I used some shading, and it went a little dark too. But again, my eyes looked pretty. Well... That's kind of sounds braggy. Actually, I'll use this brown. This is um, just brown, a neo color brown. I'm going to use that for my eye color. So I'm going to use a little bit different color, maybe this guy. And we have here, Goge. Okay. So it's not really brown, it's kind of a reddish color, but that's okay. I'm just going to do some shading on the eye. There. 
so I kind of brought it up here like so and then I also brought it in here a bit and blended it bring that down there kind of like that I'm just pretending I'm putting my makeup on I'm not even going to worry about it okay so next we're going to color my eye brown, my actually eyeball, because I have dark brown eyes. So this is the Neo, oh, I showed you the Neo color, dark brown. And Richard is in the family room ironing and watching some show about building with barn wood. He loves barn wood and he loves ironing. Like, who irons? And you know what? My daughter absolutely loves ironing too. And my dad used to. And my daughter, when she was away at university, she used to iron for money. Like the football players always, they always have to wear dress clothes when they're going to an event. And she would iron their shirts for them and they would pay her. So that's how she made some extra cash. There's my brown eye. And I'm just going to put a little whoops, white dot in it. And it's just a classic white from the Neo Colors. I haven't used this one, I don't think. Just, okay, I'm just put a little white in that little square. And I'm going to put a white in the corner of the eye, too. there and I need to let that dry before I do the rest of what I want to do okay next I'm going to draw my eye lashes I'm going to make them a little bit longer on this end sweeping them kind of that. this way is going to be a bit of more of a fantasy my lashes are not that long there there's my eye slashes and so we'll just go over them with a very fine 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 black pen I need to test it make sure it works yes okay because I'm gonna erase the pencil lines in a second And they look more real because they are so fine. There. And then once these are dry, we will just um, uh, erase those pencil lines. Kind of trust that they're probably dry, but because ink usually dries, yeah, it's dry. I'll gently erase the pencil lines. And I see that a couple of these. It even erases the paint. Can you see that? The watercolor paint there? But this eyelash is not going down where I want it to. There! Just for fun, I'm putting some little magical white dots on my eyelashes because why not it's art I don't think I'd ever do this in my real eyes but why not right oh man you almost need a magnifying glass too to do these this is funny but fun. Funny and fun. And I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying this um, art project. I really, really am. It's really enjoyable for me. This is a weird pen. The only thing it works on is if you tap it, ink comes out. But trying to get it to write, 
here. Look how magical that is. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I always wear coal under my eyes, under the eye line here. So I'm going to see, I hope I won't ruin this. Nope, can't ruin it, Monica, you can't. I'm going to take the gray, not the black, whoopsie. This one, it just says dark wash. I will take that one and lightly draw it under my eye line and then I'll smudge it with a little bit of water just right down here because this is exactly what I do with my eyes right down there and if you're ever doing makeup ladies you have to use coal k-h-o-l because any other eyeliner pencil or a cheap eyeliner pencil especially, it will drag the skin and it actually can scratch your eyelid. Coal is very, very, very soft. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Yeah, it's just giving it a bit of a smudgy... Smudgy look. It's a little too wet. I'm gonna let it dry. Whoops, let it dry a little bit, and then I'll smudge it with my finger. The brown of my eye was not brown enough, so I took um, the Martha Stewart marker, the brown one, and I went over and I like it. It looks really realistic. So the only thing I'm not happy with is the purple around the eye. It's just not popping like it should be. So I'm going to take the purple from the Neo Colors, this guy, and I'm just going to add a little bit more color. And I think I'm just going to change my paintbrush. Mm. Oh, we'll see what happens with this one. It's just not booming enough. You know what I'm saying? Monica goes out of here. She booms 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 and then I might have to go over those white dots again if the paint colors them but that's okay yes 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 now she's a working that's it give that eye some color that looks good I trusted myself on this one, and I just did what was in my head, and it came out pretty good. And the eyelashes can be a little bit darker. Because I was just like, what did you want to do today, Monica? Or for yesterday, and I thought, you know what, my makeup was so pretty. I used to wear makeup every single day, but I don't anymore. It's just too much work. We had so much fun shopping. It's getting almost where I want it to be. And now I think I'm just looking at the whites of my eyes. They look like I'm jaundiced because they are yellow. So I'm going to take that white Neo Color crayon and just... Uh, get a little bit of white in there and just try to whiten it up a little bit. It's really important that your brush is clean because it had purple on it, so we don't want purple eyes. Well, we sure could. Purple whites of your eyes. It could be purple, right? I'm just cleaning the purple off. Alrighty, and let's get this puppy on there. And let's just go in the whites and white. There we go. Because people's eyes are not yellow unless they're not feeling well. That would mean you have something wrong with your liver. There. That's better. So now all I have to do is take my uh, Distress ink and just ink around little square. So here's my inchy for today. And I have to say I am super proud of how this turned out. 
because I did this from my head, what I thought, and I, you know what I mean? And yeah, it looks like an eye. So when it actually looks like what I wanted it to look like, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so Richard will be on, um, I'm sorry, Richard's Inchi will be coming later. So I will close the video off there, but I'm really happy with these. So thanks for watching and watching from the other angle, which is super.